Hi, so I can see that there is one um, person logged into the session now. We've been holding on just to check um, because the session starts at half past. So um, I will just run through some details for you. Um, if you are interested in directions, then you're, in, you're, you're at the right um, session. So there's a Q&A and a chat facility at the bottom of the screen that you can use. I'm just going to do a short presentation on college, so general information about college, and then I'll just go over directions a little bit um, before the end. Um, so I'm going to share my screen. Um, on screen, you'll see myself and you'll see Amy. So Amy is the directions tutor and she's going to run through um, the directions course after I've delivered this short session. Amy's just logging in, so I'm just going to make sure that she is on before I make a start. Can you hear me, Amy? Hi, Beth and Get. We've just got on, but we haven't got a camera on this laptop. We've got another one that we're just trying to set up now. Okay, don't worry. I'm just going to do a short presentation first. So I'll go through that and then um, you can go, I'll pass over to you. If you can't get on on camera, don't worry, it's fine. Um, as long as we can hear you. So as long as we can hear you, um, that's okay. Um, so I'm just going to share my screen and deliver a short presentation first. Um, it'll just cover general college information um, and what you could go on to after you've completed directions. And then I'll pass over to Amy. Um, so there's, um, there is only one person on at the moment. So if you've got any questions, just use the chat or Q&A at the bottom. I'm just going to share now to my presentation. So first of all, um, you'll just see a welcome slide. Um, so welcome to St. Ellen's College. Um, this course is delivered across Nosley and St Helens so um, you may have applied to Nosley College or to St Helens College all of the information is the same which is why I'm just using the St Helens presentation it's just the one that I've, I've, I've had to hand um, so if you've not yet put your application into college um, directions is done slightly different to Amy might want to give you some contact details for you to get in touch with um, however if you want to apply for a full-time course you can do so on our website so on the page at the moment you'll see the St Helens um, apply now page um, but we also have the same for Nosley so the Nosley College is just www.nosleycollege.ac.uk um, and you'll be able to find the application form on the website. So at St Helens, that's a list of all the courses that we offer. So following um, your course with directions, these are the courses that you could potentially go into next. So Nosley's offering is slightly different to St Helens. Um, we offer slightly less there um, and some different courses. So, But what you can see on the screen is what we offer pretty much overall across the campuses. Um, so if you wanted to study anything on that page, you could find it um, potentially at Nosley, but if not at St Helens. We also offer apprenticeship. So once you've completed the directions course, um, you could be looking to go into an apprenticeship afterwards. Um, so how an apprenticeship works is a minimum of 30 hours a week, um, four days a week with an employer and one day a week in college. Um, you do need an employer for your apprenticeship training and we can't always help support in finding that. Um, so you would potentially need to find your own employer or start to apply for apprenticeships. But once as you've completed your directions course, the tutors and staff there will give you some information and support in doing that and um, that will be a progression route following your directions course. If you are interested in apprenticeships you can always take a look at the guide that'll just give you some general information although you're not looking to start this year because you're looking at starting directions and um, but it'll give you some general information on apprenticeships. Okay, so as a student at St. Helens College, you are entitled to some um, benefits. So what I'll do, I won't, I, won't touch, I won't go into that too much. I'll let the directions team touch on that because I'm sure that they will give you some information on the benefits of being a student. Um, but you'd be entitled to free breakfast, free transport, um, so bus pass, that sort of thing. Um, Microsoft 365 for your laptop or your computer at home. You, need any, um, you might need that for things like CV, right, and coursework. Um, student discounts as a student you are entitled to student discounts um, in places like the cinema restaurants clothes shops and in the bottom three you'll see bursaries free college lunch and assistance to buy course equipment and uniforms and um, so that's done per student through a financial assessment and is completed at enrollment stage so if you were entitled to any of those things you will be told at that point 
Um, we have a safe partner and wellbeing team at college who works across all of our campuses. Um, the team are there to support all of our students and staff. It could be that you're stressed out with college, it could be something personal, something at home, something going on outside college, anything that it is, if you need a little bit of support and need somebody to talk to, our safe garden and wellbeing team are there to do that for you. And um, we also have a learner support team who can give you um, a hand as well. So if you've got any issues, um, anything along any additional learning needs to anything like dyslexia or anything where you may need a little bit of support, we could also offer that too. So you would need to let us know at enrolment so we can get that put in place for you. And finally from me, we have um, all of our social media accounts on the page there. So what you can see now is St. Helens. Nosley would be the same. So Facebook, um, Nosley College, um, Instagram, Nosley College, you'll be able to find us. Um, at our admissions team pick up all of um, our admissions team at St. Helens pick up admissions across Nosley and St. Helens. So that one email address there is the one you'll need if you've got any questions about your application. So the reason we're sharing our um, social media pages with you is because they're always kept up to date with all of our information. So anything that's going on, any updates with coronavirus, um, any updates on what have our students got up to next, so success stories and that sort of thing, that's always posted out on our social media as well. Um, and then our admissions team so if you've not heard back from college within the next week or so following your application please contact our admissions team it could be that we've got the wrong details for you on the system um, and we've been trying to contact you and we're not able to get in touch so please if you've not heard from us get in touch with admissions um, and as well with admissions if you've got any questions on your application if you've applied for a course and you've changed your mind or you've applied for something um, or you can't remember what you've applied for anything like that drop our admissions um, team an email and they will follow that up and get back to you. Okay, so that's it from me. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen now and pass over to Amy and hopefully um, she's been able to get a laptop working um, and she can do a sh um, she can be, be able to give you the information on the directions course. Okay. We can't get the other screen on, sorry Beth, and we're just going to use this one and we've got a PowerPoint that we can share. That's yeah. fine, as long as we can hear you, Amy, that's okay, so no problem. Right, so my name's Mark, uh, I'm a tutor on the Directions Programme. Uh, I'm just going to start this, um, this presentation. We're going to talk you through what the Directions Programme is and what you can expect uh, come September. So what we're going to go through in this is talk about what Directions is, then we're going to move on to what you will learn, uh, then we're going to work on to, move on to the work experience side of things, then we're going to look at the expectations, what we expect from you, uh, what the college expects from you, and then finally we're going to uh, touch on progression. So the first question is, what is directions? Uh, as you can see by the photograph there, some of you may well be feeling like that at the moment. A lot of confused, there's plenty, so many things you can do at college, um, but you might not have decided what it is that you want to do. So we're a free full-time course aimed at young people between 16 to 18, and it's aimed at people who don't, aren't sure what they want to do at college. Uh, it's aimed at people who know that they would like to study or they haven't decided what job they would like in the future. And not everybody has a clear vision of what they want to do. So sometimes it can be a little bit overwhelming for some of you who feel they have to commit to a specific course of study. So our aim is to help you find a pathway which interests you and caters for your skill sets. We also work on improving your overall employability skills. So the next part is what will I learn, which is a good question. Uh, here on Directions, we focus on teaching a range of units which cover employability skills. You'll learn how to develop your own interpersonal skills, write a tailored CV for a specific industry, and improve your job interview skills and customer service skills. So the aim of the learning you'll undertake is to ensure that you're in the best position possible to progress to further study, employment, or an apprenticeship. With us, you'll also be able to study maths and English at GCSE or functional skills if you have not previously achieved these grades. So work experience, um, it's a mandatory element of your study, or, uh, study program on directions. Uh, it's a big factor for us. It could be undertaken off-site and an external place of work, or you can sample another college course you may have an interest in progressing on to following your time with us. So the work placement can be a great way of identifying whether the course you are considering is the right choice for you. So say, for example, if you come into us and you say, I want to be a mechanic, but I haven't got my maths and English, so I can't get on a course, you can go and try out either working in a garage or you can go over to the STEM centre uh, and work um, with um, Ian over there and 
develop some skills and look at the course. Uh, you may decide that that's not for you, which is absolutely fine. Um, so then you can come back to us, we'll look at something else that you might be interested in, and then we'll move you on to that. Right, so we'll move on to expectations next. So on the directions program, we expect the following from all learners on program. We expect 100% attendance and punctuality. Respect. So respecting learners, staff, others, and the environment around you. Uh, your language, you're accountable for your language, and you're also accountable for the dress code as well. And at St. Anne's College, we all are wearing our ID badges. That's a mandatory requirement. You won't be able to get into class without an ID badge. Uh, and your conduct and your attitude is also very important as well. Take responsibility for your own learning is the final one. I think that's a big one, really. Uh, that's something you will do um, progressively. So, uh, you, it, might, it might be a confusing sentence to you at the moment, but you'll work with us on a one-to-one -one basis. Uh, and we will give you sort of tips and guidance of how you can do that. So progression, uh, which is ideally what everybody wants when they come to directions. Um, and it's 99.9% it, it, of people get progression when they come to directions. You get out what you put in with this course. The more effort you give us, the better chances of progress uh, you will have. So throughout your time on directions, <clears throat> you'll be assigned a key worker. And the role of the key worker will be as follows. Uh, to support you pastorally, um, meet with you regularly, monitor attendance and behaviour, uh, we set targets with you, monitor your work placement, attendance and your progress, identifying your desired progression and supporting you in, achieve, in achieving your progression. So your key worker is, is uh, there to deal with anything that you have, out, issues outside the classroom, um, so anything that goes on academically that your tutor will deal with, your key worker will deal with the rest of it. And at the end of your time, as your key worker will support you in securing your desired progression. Um, so you'll go to your key worker and you'll say, worked hard all year, I've met all my targets, can you get me on Animal Care? Key worker will then contact Animal Care, arrange your interview, and the progression will take place from there. Um, yeah, so now open the floor for questions if there are any. Okay, so there is no questions, Mark. Um, there is the chat facility if anyone has any questions, but there's no questions coming in so far. But obviously, you've covered there a little bit of um, progression and things like that. Um, I've touched on the courses that we are that we do offer as well at college. Um, so hopefully, there's enough information there for the for the students that were logged into the session. Um, there's nothing coming in so if there's nothing more from you guys there's nothing more from me i'm happy to end the session there if if that's okay with you yeah that's absolutely fine by us yeah 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 okay so nothing's nothing has come in um question wise um i don't know whether um these sessions are going to be edited to just keep include the important parts um, and will be put up on um, the YouTube page as well. So we can share that link with you all. And if anybody emails at all, you can you can always use this session to send out as well then. Is that okay? Yeah, I yeah. think the only thing to add, Bethan, is that um, the Nosey Community College, it's exactly the same programme. Yeah, um, okay. So if anyone has any questions about that, then it's exactly the same programme. It's run exactly the same. Yeah, no, the yeah. yeah okay perfect okay so that's everything then um so thank you so much amy and mark for um logging on and delivering the session um and thank you for everyone that's attended okay thank you